Match number two in the W League Super League is 1-2-0 versus Fly. This is what happened so far. 1-2-0, defeated Focus 2-1, defeated Law Lion 2-0, defeated TH 2-1, and defeated WFZ 2-0. This boy is undefeated. 4-0, 10 points, only losing two maps in the Super League. And this is the best that Warcraft 3 has to offer. These are the best 10 players that the scene has. Maybe you could swap out WFC with Colorful at the moment. But yeah, that's about it. Fly on the other side didn't do too well, as you can see here. 2-2-2. Two two. He lost to Focus in the Orc Mirror. He won against Foggy 2-0. He then lost to Infi 0-2 and Lawlight. That was the biggest surprise here, that Fly defeated Lawlight 2-0. So he needs those points. He needs to win. 1-0 can stumble a little. He can afford to lose some maps. Fly doesn't. Not at all. Fly is the current voice, vice world champion. Only lost the final against TH. And here they are. 1-0 still without a picture, man. I don't know. 22 years old. In case you're not that familiar with the Warcraft 3 scene. He's just phenomenal. There's no other words than being a phenomenon and that is one two zero so resources are wrong so now they're right fly in red as an orc on turtle rock an old map a classic map a map that will not be seen anymore as it was rotated out of the official map pool but since w league started quite a bit ago it's still in the map pool for this tournament and it is a very very cool map for especially undead versus orc because both profit so much from items and you have four red spots here the two starting positions and the head and the tail of the turtle. Plus you have a lot of consumables in the middle. Invo potions, mana potions, name it. And both races rely a lot on mana. You do have the Shadow Hunter with Hex and Heal Wave. You have the TC with Stomp. You have of course Coil Nova and whatever. Silence, um, Howl of Terror, Sleep. There's plenty of options, but there's of course no option. Uh, to go for another sec uh, first hero. Then the DK, I explained it in the match before. Aura too good, coil too necessary. On the other side, it's Fly with his Blade Master, the hero that made him so famous. He has an insane control if he's on a good day. But the thing with Fly is, he can be the greatest. He can be like a level 20 Battle.net player if he's on a bad day. And he's notoriously famous for losing his hero early. Not going for town portals, not using potions, just to be a little over aggressive. That would be the vintage fly move. 1 to 0, creeping the turtles, getting the first few skeletons. That's the specialty on this map because there are no critters and undeads rely a lot on their skeletons for creeping, for tanking, for the damage early on. And so having no critters means you have to kill creeps first to get a corpse and then you can buy the skeletons. Also. Haste and the Blade Master with a signature move here at uh, Turtle Rock. Taking a lot of damage here though. Ooh. All right. Very, very, very good inventory for the Blade here. Um, has the Claws plus nine and the Slippers and the Circlet resulting in plus 14 damage right from the bat. And he has the unique Watch Award that lasts until the end of the game. So he will constantly have vision at 120's shop. Ballsy move by Fly, risky move, but it paid out. Or it, 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 it paid off at the end. Level 2 Blade Master. So critical strike unlocked. He comes in for the arrest. Might be able to steal this. There is two coils though, and 120 secures the kill and gets the item. He's on the chase though. Another windwalk used. How much damage can he do? There's no healing for the DK until the statues are there or he goes for the potion. So that's a problem for 1 to 0, for sure. He's on the way to tier 2, fast tech. S same speed as fly. 
Usually the orc is a little faster because uh, you go for one burrow and then tech. 120 is getting ready for more fiends, so he does have quite an army. Is he going for four ghouls? Yes. That's the latest undead build. A little more lumber income helps fighting as well against uh, raiders later on. At least a little bit. And helps creeping. Oh my god! Second slippers of agility. Once again, if you're new to Warcraft, the heroes have a primary attribute. In case of the Blade Master, it's agility. And for that, you get uh, one more damage for every single point you have on this stat. And the slippers of agility, or agility, provide you with plus three. He has two of them, so it's plus six. Plus the circler, that's plus eight agility on top of the claws of attack, who give you nine damage. Here comes the creep jack, though. Is there a coil? No, there's not. Item. Oh, shit! Boots of Quel'Thalas. This is absolute perfection for the Blade Master. But what about the Grunts? First one is about to die. There is another two coils and more damage coming in here for Fly. Usually he's losing his Blade Master very fast. This time he's losing two Grunts. Oh no, the Blade Master puts in, it, puts in enough damage on that Fiend. So he is forced to use the coil on this Fiend. There is of course cooldown and the limitation of only... Uh, oh yeah, one more coil in the mana pool for him. But man... This is the best Blade Master that you can hope for. It has a passive ability called Critical Strike. And it multiplies your damage with a chance. So the thing is though... Bonus damage that is not calculated into Critical Strike. So you have, let's say... You do 30 damage. You get the multiplier on top. And then the bonus damage is going to be added. So at the moment, multiplier uh, is 2. You do 30 damage, it's the crit. Then you do 60 damage and then plus 9 on top. Agility is calculated into the base defense. So every extra damage that comes from agility goes into critical strike as well. And that is insane. It's already plus 28 damage on a critical strike. 1, 2, 0. Going for the consumables on the back of the turtle. Goes for the Lich with Frost Armor to prevent some damage, to slow down the Blade Master. And that's absolutely necessary at that stage of the game. Big healing post for him, also not too bad. Shadowhunter is out. Blade Master's creeping level 3. Medallion of Courage is rather for the Shadowhunter, who is an agility hero as well, but he relies more on mana as he's the healer of the gang and the disabler as well with Hex and Heal Wave. So Blade Master is now level 3. That means he has Windwalk level 2. Windwalk duration lasts a lot longer. And so he can roam around better and try to steal some items. There is Reveal in the inventory of the Lich. Uses it now. Sees the Blade Master. Attacks him. But the rest of the army is coming in with Hex. And he's going for the DK right away. Right clicks. There is a Town Port and a Potion. Does Hex last long enough? No. Potion being used. Here comes Ensnare for additional disable. Coil on the turtle. He gets the level up. He gets the item. Does he? Yes. Wind of Mana stealing. He wanted to prevent the experience gain on the Lich with that Hex. But was just a tiny bit too late. Level 2 Shadowhunter as well though. Still a very, very good inventory. And this means expansion... With the Town Portal Forest, 1 to 0 can't be too aggressive on the map. We do have Tier two, uh, tier 3 ready for the Beastry Raiders. We saw the first Raiders with Ensnare already. Kodo Beast will be coming out. Reinforced Defenses is researched now. At the moment, those burrows are incredibly vulnerable with their heavy armor and 600 HP. With this upgrade, they become fortified and almost unable to get kicked by fiends and destroyers. We have a Boneyard transition, though. Players Strongest player. unit in the game coming for 1 2 0. So far, we haven't seen the greatest plays from him in this match, but of course, the Blade Master is so oppressive. And now, with the double disable of Hex and Ensnare, and the big mana potion, and the additional mana of the Medallion of Courage, 1 2 0 has to be incredibly careful what he's doing, where he's going. Oh, battle for the invo potions. Now, this is exactly what happens when you overextend. Hex comes in. Where's the ensnare? Should be flying in a second. Here we go. Net is coming, but he's not committing to the fight yet at 40 supply. But that was once again a bunch of damage on the first hero. 
Wet of Mana Stealing can be very, very useful later on. Once the TC right is out, which is coming now for Stomp. For that Stomp, you have to get in range of the uh, Undead Army. And then you can use the Wet of Mana Stealing to get rid of that mana off the TC, maybe preventing a Stomp. We haven't seen a third hero for 120 yet. There are three options basically Pit Lord for damage mitigation with Hall of Terror, Dark Ranger for area of effect, silence, and skeletons, which then can be consumed later on by the Lich to get more mana, or the Dreadlord who has sleep, which is very powerful, also a disable. Crystal Ball here, first bad item for Fly. And Unholy Aura. Uh, not Unholy Aura, Vampire Aura for Abominations, but doesn't seem to be too fitting here, so... Maybe he just stays at two heroes and makes them more powerful. Expansion is up. The timing is a little too late by 1-2-0. If you attack a building that is under construction, it takes additional damage. And now it has this fortified armor, which is not too easy to kill with the... Uh, Piercing damage. And here comes Fly, playing the Raider game. They have siege damage. They are great against buildings. Now he sees the Boneyard. The first Frostworm should be out. Oh, there it is. Oh, getting ensnared! That would be the biggest possible pickup for Fly. Now, he doesn't have the Orb of Lightning yet. It's not being brought to the fight by the TC. Slow on the Blade Master. Good position for 1 2 0. Is there a Coil Nova? He has to reveal. Here it is. He's focusing him down. There is an Invo Potion, though. And so the Blade Master gets out alive. 50 supply for both players. The Frostworm is still alive. And look at the damage of this monstrosity. Plus slow. And area of effect. It costs a lot though. 7 supply. But he gets 2 of them. Not breaking up keep, so he's low on the fiends. Super fast creeping though, which he needs. Still no Orb of Lightning. Skeleton Harass. 1-2-0 is also called the Necromancer. He did a lot of damage to that expansion, but wasn't able to knock it down. He is called the Necromancer because of his usage of those sad skeletons for scouting, especially. Or for stealing creeps, but haven't seen that today. Lots of shades coming in. The ghouls are a little out of position. Fly wanted to snipe it. Hex is, of course, a good method to get rid of those worms. Can be dispelled, but there's only a limited amount of dispel. He Shadowhunter has the town portal. Is he forced into it using a lot of mana? Oh. Hex again. Now the Invo Potion. He doesn't want to use the town portal. Very rare in general to see an orc with a town portal. And now, whoa. Oh. Invo Potion and TP gone and Raider gone. There was a nice engagement for the undead. But the expo is up. Fortified by towers now. And the grunts against the upcoming skeletons. He repairs the great hall as well. But the TC is not in fighting shape. The shadow hunter is not in fighting shape. 1 to 0 now with map control. He can creep so much with these two worms. Oh, he's walking into the undead army again. Using the heal wave this time. Until the gargantuan goes to 1 to 0. Level 3 on the lich. He pulled the DK back to not share experience with the lich. So he will rise up to level 3 and get the so important level 2 Nova. There's no money. Ah, there it is! Third hero Dreadlord and the third worm! There's one player in the scene called TBCBM who plays a lot of worms, like 4 to 5. But that's kind of a troll cheese strategy. But maybe the orcs don't have enough damage to counter mass worms. Destroyer is in a little bit of a danger. Ooh, he loses it to the tower. That was a big mistake by 120. And this is what orcs do best. Researching pillage and go for the main bases. What the hell is this? Someone was not muted, I guess. So town portal back home. Burrow oh, is, yeah, is gone now with the last bit of damage. And with the speed scroll orc... Uh, the orcs can easily escape. 
Sleep comes in though. Does he still have the Wand of Mastering? Then he could surround him. Yes, he does, but he's not using it here. Another sleep, another kill on the Raider. This is so much damage in this army, it's insane. He was a nice stomp though, but the TC looks mighty, isn't, especially on level one. He certainly lacks some tankiness. And with, an yeah, with another Nova, he's toast. There we go, one to zero is cleaning house here, getting another Raider. And there's only Hex as a disable right now. And this could be a disaster more slow. This Shadow Hunter has to go for another town portal. So the expansion is up, yeah, but since he has to use so much gold on items, especially town portals and getting the army back, this is not paying off too well. Town portal again. No reveal at this stage. In the base, more statues for 120 has to reproduce the destroyer for sure. Ring of Region has been sold for another invul on his side as well. And Flyman, he had the lead for such a long time. Gave it out of his hand with that expansion play. And not doing too much damage to the base of 120. Now going into Wyvern for additional damage. Is he going Carrier Swarm? No. Why is he sending a level 1 Dreadlord into the army? I think that was a mistake. Or he thought he has Carrier Swarm or will get Carrier Swarm or whatever. Again, Fly's Distraction. Again, slow. Can he get another kill with a coil? Yes, he does. He's trading so unfavorably. Always unit plus TP against basically nothing. He got a ghoul here, but 1 to 0 is safe with around 600 lumber. Town portal on 1 to 0 side now as well. Two Wyvern already. Two Fiends can web them. We don't know if he researched it, but he should. Armor upgrades as well, and this is the fourth Frost Worm for 120. We do have the Kodo Beast for the War Drums. 10% damage, but he lacks the upgrade, which would give him 20% damage. He's really going into Mass Wyvern now. Interesting choice. So... Burrow has been killed before. Nice Nova, level 2. It is the Vamp Aura, so a little bit of HP regen for DK and Dreadlord. The Wyvern come in, they have piercing damage, which is great against Worms. But there's also Coil, level 4 on the Lich. He's rising up in level so quickly, but there is a big potion of mana. On this Shadow Hunter, he can heal and disable a lot. Going for the Blade Master, wants to force the town for the potion. Here's the coil, he kills him! There was a potion, but he wasn't fast enough. The main damage dealer for Fly is gone. And now, what can these grunts do against three worms? The DK is constantly healing. There is no web as it seems, though. Nice heal wave to save two units by Fly. Does he still want to fight this without the Blade Master? He does. He holds. There's no peons here, but he holds. Player's forces are 1 to 0 down to 63 supply. Closing in on level 5 DK though. Gloves of Haste for the Lich. It's the second one. That's good. Additional damage. Love that shade. He sees a lot with this. Mm. The level 2 for the TC is around the corner. That's a big level up as you get Endurance Aura. For additional attack speed, which is a lot more damage to the Wyvern, and more movement speed, which is great because it works against the Unholy Aura, basically, or counters the Unholy Aura a little bit. DK is coming into the fight. Mass air. The worms are hurt. Getting uh, regen here by the Obsidian Statue. But will that be enough? TC getting a big stomp out. Worm is dead. Level 2. The Aura is r right up. But looks like 1 to 0 can get rid of those worms. Oh of those wyvern before the worms fall. Gets the second one, gets the third one. Here comes another stomp, but that didn't hit too much. DK still has one more coil available. There's plenty of sleep. He doesn't use the mana on the Dreadlord. Just waiting for the Blade Master to return. And the 
Grunts are just suffering. 54 supply, only the last two worms are up. Not taking care too much of this Wyvern. Sleep on the Shadow Hunter, so he can't heal at the moment, resulting in another Raider kill. Level 3 now. Sleep get a lot uh, cheaper, so you can spam it a lot more. But he needs a coil as well, going for the Shadow Hunter. He is slapped now, can't heal. Is this the kill of the TC? He's trying hard! And here comes the Nova from behind. The Shadow Hunter was still sleeping, so he couldn't cast the heal wave, and that should be it right now. He might be able to, or he should be able to break this expansion. Only the Shadow Hunter, one Grunt, and the Wyvern, who is super duper hurt. Remaining for Fly's army. Level 4 on the Shadow Hunter, not even level 5. Level 5 DK, level 4.6 Lich. This is overwhelming. But Fly stays in this game. Does he have some hope for the Blade Master? He's only 60% back. It takes two minutes to get a level 3 hero back. Or 110 seconds or something. And there's no big bank for Fly. At one point of the game, he had a thousand gold on his account. But he reinvested it into a lot of town portals, into a lot of items, and not into the biggest army. Maybe Wyvern, not the best thing to go for against Nova and Frostworms. But this Great Hall is gone. A player's forces are under attack. Mm -hmm. Good fight by 1 to 0, not losing too much, like 10 supply, which is easy if you kill a worm because it's 7 supply already. And Fly needs a plan B ASAP. Actually, needs a plan C because his first game plan was. Uh, was Pillage Lame. That didn't really work out because 1 to 0's responses were just too quick. Then he tried to build an army with those wyvern and that got shut down as well zero one upgrades on both sides oh super risky move by one to zero he could be creep jacked hard here and he is we do have the Orb of Lightning, now the Blade Master is able to attack air and cast Purge. Nice Nova into all of the Wyvern. Sleep is coming out again, disabling the healing once more. Where's the healing on this worm? Oh, gets, uh, doesn't get it, but we do have a level 5 Lich at this point. Level 3 Nova is insane against the Wyvern and the Intelligence gain results in more damage from this Lich. And he's just ripping them apart. One Wyvern after another is falling and now it's hero hunting time. He's healing him up one more time, but the healing wave is on cooldown. Invo Potion has to come up. There must be a shade. Yes, there is. Focus fire level 4 on the Dreadlord. GG by Fly. And 1-2-0 takes it home. And once again, on his way to win this best of three and remain undefeated. 21 minute game here on Turtle Rock. It looked orc favored for quite some time, but once you have two worms, it's just way too much. It's too much damage. You can't control it anymore. Everything is slowed. Everything gets damaged. And he still threw in some grunts who just melt against this. And the hero levels for Fly weren't the greatest, to be honest, um, compared to 120's hero levels, at least. We have a few new subs coming in. Thank you, White Sprint, for 12 months. Oh, I think we mentioned that already, but whatever. Gold is a nine month. Uh, keep it up, guys. Thanks for the reporting of BlizzCon. Hype! Oh, yeah, reforged hype is real. Thank you, Enter for the host. Thank you, Hirschbimbo, for a 26 month resub. And Miyamo for the eight month, sending a less than three. Get that right back, brother. And usually, this was something kind of new by 1 to 0. Usually we see mm, the sleep being used against the Blade Master only for damage mitigation. This time, almost exclusively on the Shadow Hunter. So whenever he saw, okay, there should be a heal wave soon. Let's sleep this dude. You can wake him up with a click, but only after two seconds or so. So there is a disable that you can't prevent, and then there is a lack of heal wave, and that's how he won this game.
All right. Second map choice is... Did they start this game without me? TD, Lucifer, they're all in the game. Lawlight is not. Right. Um. Okay, they started. Too bad, so we have to rely on Nettie's watch. And I hope the game will be in there. So we do have like a three minute delay. And I hope there are no spoilers here uh, coming from you guys. Usually we are always invited to these games, maybe due to the two weeks absence. I don't know. Why no bad riders? Um, one to zero counters them too easy with weapon fiends. Or even Coil Nova. That is, I think, yeah, that's the reason. It's not very efficient as well because you lose them. Bad riders for pro, for pro players, I think, too easy to counter. Ah, the happy discussion. Oh, how I missed that. There's a few topics on uh, this channel that I really hate. One is, why is Grubby not playing this tournament? Second is, where is Happy? Third is, Warcraft 4. There's another one, but I forgot. Oh, and balance in general is uh, quite bad. So in two minutes, we have our game. Oh, in one minute, we have our game. <laughs> the crestfall with the 100 bits. Hey, Satan, everyone. Finally, we can do something about my back to Warcraft withdrawal. Yeah, man. Feels good to be back. Ah, can you switch colors as ops? Exactly. <laughs> Agent. <laughs> Maybe Brilliant's Aura is OP? I think Brilliant's Aura was OP. Now it's not. Late game. Only talking about late game. So the game is three minutes old. There's still protection on it. Yeah, thank you, Pax. Shout out to the Read More Elite for the sub. Uh, there's going to be a balance patch soon. Um, they said after BlizzCon, whatever that means, right? I think they won't do it before WGL because if they patch now, the Europeans basically have no place to practice. For WGL. So... Isn't there a new observer tool thingy in Netties? Didn't someone... Ah, yeah. Huh. Haven't seen this before. I never use watch. This might take some... Ah, there we go. So... Can I click on something? No. Okay, that's how it is then. Our overlay is a little bigger than the one we have at Nettie's. Uh, all right. Should be fine. I think we should have it enabled, right? So, 1 to 0 with the lead. Let's put gold line up. Sorry. All should be fine. <coughs> yes. So, fly in red, 1 to 0 switches to marine blue or whatever this is. And he has match points! He could go 
on a sick 5-0 and streak here. Fifth game for 1-2-0. Again, he has the lead. And that would mean if he wins now, he gets three points. And he is by far the leader of the pack with 13 points. At the moment, Lin on top with 11 points. So we do see a Farseer here on Terrana stand. Orcs can start with basically three heroes. Blade Master is the normal choice. Uh, Farseer if you want to harass more, or Shadow Hunter if you want to do something like crazy. Oh, that doesn't really help, right? A player's doesn't look good. Um, Death Knight, of course, the hero of choice with a Ted Fiend build order. That means uh, early tech, late fiends, and uh, early hero, late fiends. Farsia decides to go for creeping himself. Fly, I think, not the greatest Farsia player. I have seen it better by Lin and also Focus. His Blade Master control is usually a lot better. 1 to 0 sees the situation now. He's alright. He's gonna come my way. Tech wise, 1 to 0 is even ahead. As Fly is teching with two Burrows and Shop. That's basically the latest you go for in Pro Tech and uh, in, in Pro Tours. But yeah, again, preventing progress is key. Farsia not really dependent on levels. I mean, level two wolves are nice. Chain, having chain lightning is nice, but it's not as necessary as the coil level two, which you absolutely, you have to have it. Same goes for the unholy aura. So DK is trying to steal some creeps here. There is of course, of course a threshold of 100 HP. That's the damage of the coil. Heals for 200, damages for 100. And a little too late. Claws of attack on the ground. Would have been nice for the ledge. But it's not. Good damage by the skeletons here against the fast here. Will trigger some heal selves. And wolves give decent experience at the first blood here. 20 for each kill. It was more in the past, got nerfed, and now it's a lot more fair, I think. Fly is stuck at 30 supply at the moment. Gathering some resources. 1 to 0 now with the fiend production on his way to tier 2. There's nothing I can do here, right? Like production or so? A town is under siege. They had some more important stats in the old observer feature, but whatever. DK lost quite a bit of HP himself. Without the unholy aura, very, very hard to regen that. So he has to play a little careful, um, but not as careful as on Turtle Rock, because there is no Blade Master. He can't come out of the shadows and knock you down or slice you up. On Terranus Stand, there's quite some easy creep spots with good re rewards, like the natural here, for example. DK is waiting for some reinforcements. Early war mill tier two is done. Oh, fiend surround maybe. There is a counter surround by that uh, skeleton here. And so it's just a little too slow. Oh, second try. He yeah, outmaneuvers him though. Escapes with that fiend. That was important. Second one is coming, so second chance for Fly. 1 to 0 is rally points, a little off here. But he kicks the Voodoo Lounge. That is not supposed to happen at all. No clarities. Only three heal selves remaining. That's not gonna be a lot of Hex. Or Stomp. Yeah, okay, it's TC. That's not gonna be a lot of Stomp. Beast 3 is coming as well. In the base of the undead. Slaughterhouse, of course. Tier 3 tech, of course. One hurt fiend. And a second one as well. So, in the mid game. Which is starting now. He's certainly crippled. Needs to go for some small spots, I guess. Or oh, if he kicks the shop again. And he does. Oh, on the cost of a fiend, though. No, he has the mana for a coil. One more as well. Fossey is fast. Wolves are fast. But it should be fine. 
he, he can invest co one coil more. So all three fiends saved. Lich second statue coming with the statue. He has the AOE heal. And then the fiends are safe. TC out with endurance aura first. Ring of regeneration. Nah. But certainly a hero level advantage for the orc right now. With raiders only for now, no headhunters, no tier three. Forces are under attack. He had to invest into a new shop, of course, twice. That hurt. And finally, some time for one to zero to creep this up. The three tech is almost done already. Ooh, lightning shield. Gotta be careful with that one. Especially when a fiend is this low. But he uses it perfectly to do the damage on the creeps. Level 2 for the DK. Finally, Unholy Aura is there, as well as the Lich. With, well, Nova then, right? At the moment, he holds on to his skill point. But not for much longer, I guess. TC and Farsia have the Chain Wave combo. Chain Lightning and Shock Wave. Not here, though, because he's going for the War Storm. Chain Wave could be nice against Acolytes and Ghouls in the base. So if you want to go full, uh, full Echo Harassment, you can go for that skill build. But Storm is just way too good, and you will see in a bit why. Boom! Here we go. One, two, three. Big ass stun. And there must be some kills for Fly now. He has to connect, and he does. First one is dead. Raider has been saved, so good trade for Fly. But reinforcements are coming in. And he has the constant regens, the little fountains in the back. Oh, the coil a little too late. Chain Lightning secures the kill. But now there's no mana anymore, neither on the TC nor on the Farce here. He wants level 3, though. And I like how he snipes the statues. They are so important, not only for the healing at the moment, but you need the third one to morph it into a destroyer. One grunt falls, but I guess it goes in hand in hand with another fiend co uh, kill. Now a destroyer is there, but no region on the ground anymore. Dispel though, against the wolf, so he might be able to keep this fiend up. Nope. Frost armor and Nova, now both skilled, and it's getting close to level three. On the DK. Fast Zero has that level already. Wow. Great end snare. To save that unit. So, expansion on the back of this fight. Smart move by Fly. Only fought with like 40, but that was damn effective. As 1 to 0 is struggling at below 40. Now he gets the regen again. Ooh. Okay, didn't know you can pull the Sasquatch this far. This far. Town is under siege. So Fly is ready to defend his expansion. Level 3, close to level 3. Kodo is there, Disable is there. Which has the of corruption though, but this army is ridiculous. Early Wyvern, early Headhunter. Dark Ranger third. AoE Silence to prevent the stun and the Chain Lightnings. So we're going into a little calmer, gearing up phase of this game. 1 to 0. Has to push the expansion at some point. It's not that easy. Reinforced defenses is already up. He's building a burrow here to prevent. Uh, to protect the peons counter expansion okay more like the lucifer and wfz approach than this ultra aggressive one two zero thing and the mana stone is absolutely fantastic good items now he had a lot of agility items which is always bad for undead Ex except if you play a dark ranger maybe but even then it doesn't add too much and Fly is seriously staying on tier 2, but he found the flute. And now we have the mana potion and heal scroll and invul. Of course, with the additional income that he has already, he can afford that. Staying on 56 supply, going for the defense upgrade. 1-0 is not doing that, I guess. Nope, graveyard is not lit. 
Web is coming, so he knows or feels or scouted that Wyvern are coming. Or just expects it. Still the Dark Wizard up for grabs. Nice steal. The item goes to fly, but the experience went to 1 to 0. Dark Ranger level 2 and a half already. Silence on the TC, who is level 2. Ah, oh, okay. Kills it with an invo potion and then hits the stomp. Dark Ranger is a little too far forward. Nice choke, though, but where are the blockers? For 1 to 0 is constantly taking damage. Oh, going for the TC. Uh, has to be another stomp soon. Wyvern getting webbed, and this damage now against this unit is insane. Boop, gone it is. And that's how you don't need blockers. You kite a little back, and you don't, as an orc, don't want to fight into a choke. Because most of your army is melee, and melee units clump up. One destroyer on the ground. TC is looking for the next storm. And he has another mana potion. This position, there has to be a silence soon. It's coming. The stun. You see it? Oh, there it is. So he has to retreat. When of mana stealing was used as well. So there is a storm now, but only this one. Raiders are falling. Massive stun, though. Nice chain lightning to finish off that fiend. Is there enough damage for the lich? Doesn't seem like it. FS has to... Retreat a little more wyvern and a lot of headhunters, but headhunters especially without the berserker upgrade are not an issue at all a player's forces are under attack. Because with Nova and Of of corruption right clicks especially once you have black arrow enabled and then get skeletons you snowball hard against them Expansion up And Fly, at some point, I feel needs tier 3. Ooh, Invis TC. I like that. Invis potion from the shop. How much damage can he do? 1 to 0 must be wondering. Where is your TC? It's going hard for the fast here! And Fly, not only losing Blade Masters, but also his first hero. The TC on its own with a bunch of ranged units. 1 to 0 is town portaling out. I mean, why not? There's going to be a lot of damage. He gets the double level up. TC as well, but saves the rest of this army, and now it can rely on this expansion. Undeads with Expos are so hard to kill. And a revive of a level 4 hero are under is super expensive. Solo time for the TC, though. Level 3 Storm. Remo calls it the best non-ultimate spell in the game. It is an insane amount of stun. Five seconds. Auto of experience. Gives it to the DK. One step closer to coil three. Lich has level four now with Dark Ritual. That means all the skeletons that the Dark Ranger produces with a, uh, with a black arrow can be eaten or consumed by the Lich to give him more mana. Players' forces are under attack. Death Knight, by the way, unholy aura level two. No death pact. Book of the Dead here. There is no dispel in Fly's army. He didn't go for a torrent totem to build the walkers. So this Book of the Dead can be really good. It summons uh, six skeleton warriors, uh, uh, th three skeleton warriors, and three skeleton archers. So it helps you a lot in the fight, especially if you can eat them with a Lich, as I said before. TC is back with a Devotion Aura as well. Triple Aura on the TC. With Endurance, Flute and Lionhorn. But I see another fight coming here. 67 Supply. Oh, Tom of Experience on the ground. That's level 5. I think he left it before, right? On the top right. So this is level 5. Level 3 Coil. Is pretty insane. Fly is fighting without the fast here at the moment. First Raider is gone already, but again, no real blocker line. Silence on the TCs, aiming hard for the Kodo, who does have the upgrade, but is nuked in in instantly. Stun was called. Dark Ranger in trouble. And another pickup. Wow! What a fight by 1 2 0. 10 supply gone for the cost of a town portal, which he can easily. And he's creeping in the meantime. Taking out the green spots with skeletons during a fight. This dude is next level, I told you.
Thank you very much, Diziot, for the eight month. Greetings from the Netherlands. Great to see you guys at ESL. Oh, that was you! Oh, that's cool, man. Thank you very much. That was a cool talk with you at the stands at ESL Hamburg. Glad you're back. And Thunder's 32, 26 month resub. Happy 26 month. Thank you, man. Much appreciated. Hope you're doing well. So lots of fiends now. Fly is still not going to tier 3. He's going double barracks. For mass headhunters, I guess. It's still not a level 5 TC. A level 5 TC... Could change things. But 1 to 0 is getting some blockers. Abomination is coming. Not in the perfect position at the moment though. Three statues, one will most likely be morphed. And again, on paper an equal fight. But here we go, Nova into the back line. Nice and snare here though, to keep the Abomination at bay. He's diving a little for the Lydian statue, but once again he has to use an invo potion. The silences are perfect, the storms not really. Once these seven seconds are over, the TC, TC is in a world of trouble. And the stuns don't hit, he wants the... One, two kills that he needs for level five, but no way. One to zero is killing way more. Oh, that fiend was denied by the lich. He eats it up and has more mana now. Another perfect execution with Coil Nova. He's just spooning there. One kill after the other. Never going for something too powerful. I mean, he was trying to go for the TC just to trigger the invo potion, though. Invo Potion on cooldown for quite some time. He can't get the necessary experience for level 5. And now there's a 5 supply lead on 1 to 0 side with a 5 4 4 hero combo. This Dark Ranger leveled up so quickly. Now he feels confident enough with the expansion, with the running expansion, with the 70 supply to try to break this base. Invisible Torrent Chieftain, the first stun should be sick, must be sick. But he's so far away, the army has to engage soon. Oh, he sees it now! Silence on him, he can't stun at the moment! Invo Potion again, that was a massive storm! Five units killed or something, here comes Speed Scroll to engage, seven seconds are clocking down. And there is another coil, there is another Nova, and there is no TC anymore. Goodbye, level 4 Torrent Chieftain. A few fiends are falling, but that's absolutely okay. A massive army of Headhunters with two damage hours, though. Can he just rely on the piercing damage of the Headhunters? I don't think so. Level 5 and a half. Another st um, skeleton gets eaten. He's going hard for the, for the fast here, and that is not the killing blow. He saves him to the back, but what about the rest? The Abomination is back. The Kodo is gone. He saves it. No last hit by Fly. There was certainly a mistake. GG and 1-2-0 is 5 and 0 oh in the Super League. Continues to be undefeated. Impressive. Impressive play once again. Not over committing. Staying calm when he was under pressure, when the expansion was up and running. And Fly never had the masses to overwhelm him. There was constantly forced town portals, constantly forced invul potions, coil nova on raiders. He could never acquire a 75 supply army. And with the expansion up, did Fly even threaten this expansion once? Not really, right? I mean, he went there with wolves, I guess. But... Pretty crazy. Uh, two tomes of experience though, that helps a lot. The level 3 coil helped a lot. But Fly, not bad, but not great. I think the Farseer kill in the early late game killed him. And with that he had to wait for so long to get his first hero back. He couldn't really take the fights, he couldn't pressure anything anymore. And that's why 1-2-0 is now leader of the W League Super League with 5-0 and, oh and 13 points. Who will follow him? Lin? Could equalize in our next series or take the throne back if he defeats Law Lion 2 0, because that's our next match. The rematch of WCA 2016 Grand Final. Two Koreans clash. It's Lin versus Law Lion. 
after a little break. 